live coding is already a bad idea. Live coding in seven minutes, great idea. All right, so here we're going to deploy. We're going to write from scratch and deploy an application in seven minutes. Uh, so let's do that. We are going to start with McDur. We're going to say, hello, gophers. And we're going to CD into that directory, hello, gophers. And we are in that directory now. And we are going to say, go mod init. Uh, go mod init. GitHub.com slash Luke Schlungen slash seven minutes. You can see this code at that URL later today, assuming that everything works, which is a big assumption. All right, we're going to do main.go. Now we've created that file. Now inside of main.go, we are going to say package main. Drop down a few lines here, and we're going to say func main. Put some parentheses there, and we're going to say http dot uh, handle func. Handle func. I hear the whispers in the audience like, this is suicide. What? What is you doing? Uh, we're going to say func and hope that the IntelliSense figures it out. It will not. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, my goodness. This is where it all crashes and burns. Oh, oh, come on. IntelliSense. All right. Not giving me what it wanted, what I wanted, but I'm going to copy this. Good. And paste it in. All right. Earlier, an hour ago, it would just give me exactly what I want and fill that in for me. It will not do that because, of course, it's like live demo. Your fault, man. All right. Uh, w dot write. We're going to write a response here, and this will be, of course, a byte array. And we're going to put this in parentheses, and it will say audience participation. Now, what will it say? Hello, school. You uh, like a weirder word. You know, I didn't come up with in advance. Tactics watermelon. T Tactic watermelon. All right, we don't have enough time for this. Let's keep going. Uh, HTTP. And we're going to listen and serve. And we are going to listen on a port. We don't decide. We will let uh, our operating system do that for us. We're going to say get env. And we're going to get the environment variable for port. And we're going to say nil. It's going to be upset because I probably forgot parentheses. No? I'm just going to add this manually? Oh my goodness. Not the time. That's supposed to happen automatically. OK, I think I've got it. And now we are going to gcloud. Uh, G Cloud run deploy, and we are in the great city of Chicago. So we are going to deploy. When I say great city of Chicago, you say woo! Great city of Chicago. So we're going to deploy to US Central One, and we are going to allow unauthenticated so that anybody can come and view our magnificent, magnificent site. And we are going to say source use this project right here. Yes, we'll accept Hello Gophers as the name. Four minutes, plenty of time. Three minutes, wrote the code, hit the deploy button. We'll see if this actually works. So uh, your question now is like, uh, cool? <laughs> why? Uh, and so in order to understand why I think this is important, I taught at a coding boot camp in Minneapolis for three years. And I saw so many incredible applications get built by junior developers. And so often those applications would never get deployed. And there was often like a, oh, maybe I'll do this in like a week or so or when I'm more senior. But it would often get pushed further and further because things are harder to deploy as the applications get more complicated. So yes, this is really basic. But what I want to convince you is that you can deploy things. Because when it comes to Go, they would not let anyone more junior than me get on this stage. My first line of Go, I wrote three weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. It's great. I like it a lot. Thank you for uh, not kicking me out. Uh, but whatever you have, you can deploy it. So please give it a shot. Oh, come on. Come on. That was all the vamping that I had. It's still building. It's still building. I suppose I'll mention that this is on Cloud Run. So you don't have to do any installs in order to get this working. I'm on Cloud Shell Editor. So assuming you have a Google Cloud account, you can head to shell.cloud.google.com and you can just spin this up. Three minutes has never felt like such a long time. There's a URL. Let's click it. Yeah! All right, and I will apologize. This talk title is misleading. I said deploy your Go application in seven minutes. This was five. We wrote from scratch and deployed an application. So whatever you've got, stop by our booth. Let's talk about it. Thanks, everybody.